Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Retro Doc 79, and today we're going to tackle dungeon number six. Now, this one's going to get a little confusing, so follow along. Uh, you're going to have to do a lot of backtracking. We'll call this the start room. And we're going to come back here a few times. First thing you're going to do is take out these small enemies, get your bombs ready, and we're going to do a big circle, big, big circle going up and to the right. And just watch closely. You'll be okay if you follow my, uh, my instructions and just do what I'm doing on the screen. And you want to be careful with these guys. If they hold you for too long, you'll actually lose your shield. If you make physical contact, they'll just, uh, they'll absorb you into their body and erode away at your shield. And my little trick is just uh, use the boomerang to stun them. As you can see, they take about five hits a piece. And though we will get a large shield a little later in this run, in this dungeon actually, it's best to keep it as long as we can. And just head over to the right. Like I said, we're going to make a big circle here. Now this room is completely optional. Unless you want the... Uh, that uh, map on the right. For me, it was more about trying to get my hearts back. Okay, so we're just going to come down here and then we'll get that on the way back. Oh, we won't. Uh-uh, we're locked over here, so... You want to go down? The only thing that's mandatory in this room was that key you saw me get. Okay, we're back at the starting point. So we're back at start room. And now we're gonna go and uh, to the left. And you don't have to take these enemies out. We just wanna get to this room up here with as much health as possible. And of course you recognize this room. We've been in it a few times before. And actually, I just noticed we're missing the key there, so let me go get that key. Good thing I saw that. We actually have to prep ourselves for later in this dungeon. And I completely forgot to do this. We have to blow these two holes in the wall and get that key on the other side, or else we're going to get stuck later on. So no harm, no foul. We caught that before it was too late. And let me see if I can make my way through here, or do I have to go all the way back around? Nope, looks like I'm going to have to go and make that complete loop again, but that's okay. This time we don't have to take these enemies out. And you know what? There's only one of them, so... 
Might as well. And we get some bombs back, so that's a nice little bonus, actually. Okay, so it's all working out pretty well. Since we have the key, we're just avoiding everything. And back to the start room. And here what you want to do is you want to go left and up. You don't have to kill the enemies there. And then we're going to go left and up again. Again, only killing these enemies if you have to to get through safely. Here we don't have to take these guys out, they just respawn, so we're going to go left as soon as we get the opportunity. And you probably noticed that uh, I quickly just went through that room and pushed forward. You don't want to get hit by that enemy at the beginning. And this room just got a lot easier, so that was real, real fortunate. That's pretty legit actually. And we're just going to take these guys out. Now, you see that key? I was thinking you push one of these blocks. You actually don't. We're going to go... We're going to go to the right. Take a staircase. And then from there, we're going to make our way to a mini boss. And then when we come back to this room is when we'll get our hands on that uh, key. And you'll see how. Actually, it's here. It's here. Okay. And normally, I wouldn't go in there first. I'd go take out the the boss here first down there but uh since we took out all the enemies on the other room it was safe to try And as you recall, this enemy only get, uh, takes damage from the arrow. Oh, man. And the good thing is we can use the secret passage. And we want to get ourselves back to that starting room. Because from there, that's a good room to center yourself in. I usually go there, get my bearings, and make my next move. Here we are going to have to take these guys out. Oh, I actually didn't have to take them out, but that's fine. Let's get ourselves back to that start room. And hopefully we can replenish some of our health here. Okay, I think we have to go to the right. I 
think we, we have to go to the right a few times. Because we have to fight another one of those mini bosses that you saw that we could only kill with the arrow, but it's a blue one. So let me get my bearings. We got two keys, so... Let's take out these red guys from here. We don't want to lose our shield when we're in there. And the reason I use the bow and arrows, obviously, uh, you know, those uh, skeletons take away your ability to use your sword for a few seconds. I believe this guy's going to take three or four hits. Okay, that was pretty cheap. Come on. I'm going to have to take some hits to get hits on it. And that's what it looks like. Ooh, definitely want that heart. It gave us a key, so let's go up here. I think we go up. Yeah, we do, and then we go left. Okay, I remember this room. And uh, if you noticed, I actually took my stepladder into that, over that big chasm. And if you do that and don't turn back completely, just slightly, you're able to um, avoid taking damage from them and just kind of pelt them. And the best way is pelt them with the sword, but also with the boomerang and you lock them in place. Oh man, I think. Left down, I think. Get my oh yes, because we have to go through the, the little secret tunnel chasm area there. Okay, so no heart, no heart containers. That's fine. Okay, this next room is tricky. I forget if it goes dark, but we have to blow a hole in the wall. So let me see. Either this room or the next one. Let me see. This is the room. And we're actually at the uh, stage boss. We're in pretty good condition because we have uh, two of those health potions. Oh man, I lost my 
Oh, I lost my sword. I gotta find the blue one. Did I really lose the sword? It can't be permanent. Let me see. Can't be permanent. Okay, it wasn't permanent. Oh, I shouldn't have gone to that other room. Okay, so the only way to harm this thing is going to probably be sword and bombs. Nope, just swords. So let's get ourselves going. And the best way is if you've got plenty of health, and I recommend you buy the red potion if you can afford it, if not farm for it, is get right on top of it. Because they're going to take about four hits per one, each one of those hands that are floating around. Ooh. Now, after this, we're actually going to go and take on uh, level 3 again. We're going to finish it off. But not right away. We're going to go get another heart container, believe it or not. And back the way we came. You know, while we're here, I'm just going to go and buy a, a blue potion. I have plenty of rupees, and it's good to keep ourselves stacked. I'm hoping picking up the blue potion will actually give me a red potion, like it would in the original. Hopefully I don't waste my rupees, but if I do, it's only 35, so we should be good. And let's see what happens. Okay, phenomenal. That's actually pretty good. And now that we took out Dungeon 6, you're going to be able to get to an area with this whistle you couldn't before. Actually, I think I have to blow the whistle in a specific location. Let me see. Nope, this is it. And just taking them out for the rupees. It's always good, so we don't have to do that farming we did at the beginning. You'll come in here and get your heart container and when you step out I want you to pay close attention if you saw the river was too wide to cross with the step ladder you're gonna step out in some bushes on the lower left and actually we could just use the the recorder and probably get there but we're so close I'm just gonna huff it And as always, we're going to clear the enemies around us. Until next time, this has been RetroDoc79. Thanks for your support.